Now once we've finished designing the project, we're ready to upload onto the iPhone or iPad. Now before we do that, I always find a good practice to upload to the Genie again, just in case there's any program changes that have been made with macros or whatever that hasn't been uploaded. Okay, this is done. Now once this is done to upload to the iPad, you must make sure that your computer is on the wireless network or connecting the wireless router and of course your iPad is on the same wireless router. If we right mouse click on that group and we click on upload group to Genie app. Once we do that, that starts a beacon that will send a message out to all the apps um, or the iPad apps ready to be uploaded and with a request, do you want to upload or not. Depending on how many GUI pages you've got, the time before this beacon starts is determined by the size of the project. Now once it's ready to be started, we'll see the beacon page appear on the screen. Now before I start uploading, what I'm going to do is just move this screen over a little bit. Okay, so if I move this screen, we'll be able to see the iPad coming up on our screen so we can record it and um, assist with this training. Okay, so let's just bring the iPad screen up. Here we go, so we've got a simulated uh, view of the iPad um, on the screen showing the Genie app that we've downloaded from the iTunes store. Now when I load, when I start that app, what's going to happen on the iPad, it's going to come up with a prompt that there's a beacon started and do I want to accept the downloading of the GUIs. If I select yes I do, what will happen is over here on Project Editor, we start to see all the files getting downloaded, all the HTML pages, the um, images, etc. And again, depending on how many pages you've got, how many images there will determine how long it's going to take to download to the to the project. This may take, you know, five or ten seconds. It might take up to 30, 45 seconds. But we'll see the status of where we're up to as it slides through and as the progress bar continues. Okay, now once that completes downloading, obviously over here we see a download complete on the beacon. We can close that window down and we'll bring the iPad right to the front of the screen and we'll see a message on the iPad of what do we want, or the iPhone, if it was an iPhone, what do we want the startup GUI to be. If I scroll through the options or the pages that are in uh, my iPad, which are the GUI pages we generated, we can see one there that I've called home page. If I open that up, that would be my home page. So whenever the app is loaded, if I close the app, whenever I start that app, it'll always start at that home page. I can now go through and starting to test um, our application to make sure everything's fine. For example, if I open my TiVo, hit the TiVo button, I get all the TiVo GUI that I designed um, with the system. I can go through, check the channels, go back to the home page. If I was to select the Blu-ray, for example, and remember when we designed the GUI for this, the Blu-ray, we had a wait page coming up. So let's make sure that works. I hit the Genie. Yes, our wait page is coming up for that time that we um, had which is about five seconds, and then automatically loads up the Blu-ray um, GUI. If I go back now, um, and let's go to my lighting page. So if I select on lighting, it comes up, and instantly we can see the feedback. The light is currently on 20%. I can turn that up by using the quick buttons, drop it to 30, up to 30%. I can use the slider and slide the um, up, and as you can see, we're up to 65%. I can turn it completely off using the off, completely on using the on, again ramping it down or whatever I want to do with there and toggle it off um, by the globe. So all our lighting on this particular um, page is working. Let's go to the floor plan that we had um, designed. So if I open up my floor plan, Instantly I can see that the dining room light is on. I can toggle that on and off by pressing the light globe. It's off. It's on. The um, family room is on. 
I can use it. Now it's on 50% because the slider is showing 50%. I can slide the slider down, ramp that light down or up depending what I want to do. The kitchen light is off. I can turn the kitchen light um, on and off by turning the light globe. Our sprinkler system currently is not running. If I turn the sprinkler, we see the sprinkler system come on and go off. The front door is currently unlocked. I can lock the front door by hitting it um, on or off. I can also go through and the garage door is currently closed. I can then hit on that, open the garage door, close the garage door. The security system up the top of the screen is showing that it's disarmed and it's ready to be armed. If I click on that keypad, we open the page up that shows the keypad that it's disarmed, ready to be armed. If I arm it, we hear the security system arming in the background. If I enter my code to disarm, we can see the security system disarmed. If I go back to my home page, here we can hit on cameras and we get our cameras um, loading up. So as you can see, everything is working fine. Um, we're all happy, good to go. If we had other iPads to download, we're just a matter of going back to our project editor, um, clicking on the download, and we can download to those ones as well. So I hope you got a lot out of this training, and thank you very much for your attention.